Hey, what's up guys? I'm bringing you back another Madden 25 video, and today we're rolling with the Connected Franchise, not Connected Careers, or Franchise Mode. This year they have it called Connected Franchise, so uh, I'm going to be rolling Coach Mode. Uh, I still get to play the games, don't worry, with the Minnesota Vikings. I'm going to do an Owner Mode down the line, probably with the worst franchise in the league, or the poorest, you know, whatever franchise is going in the worst direction. And I'm going to be a strategist coach, you know, the kind of coach that wins it with his brain, you know, finding the right person, or not personnel, the right plays and schemes for his team and just building around that. And uh, my coach's name, just a made-up name, Steve Kendricks, thought about doing Jackson Lloyd, but considering my Road to Glory player will go into Jackson, <laughs> voice crack, wow, that's embarrassing. It'll go into Jackson Lloyd in the NFL, which I will import my Road to Glory to the NFL when the time comes. And uh, this is the, the season ticket version, so it's not the full game, can't play ultimate team yet. But uh, I can play most of the game modes. Saw so Steve Kendricks, Phase 2, and uh, like I said, or I don't know if I said it, I want the Buffalo playbook. Uh, you know, let Ponder use his feet a little bit, and I assume they have a pretty dumbed-down passing game for him to learn. And uh, Ponder's my guy. You know, my centerpiece is AP, but Ponder's got to be the guy that I, I ho hope he at least develops into Alex Smith. Maybe, if we're lucky, develops into like a Troy Aikman who... Uh, you know, that'd be really good, but, um, uh, I like a aggressive defense, <laughs> hard hitting, but we're going to roll with 10 minute quarters, 17 second clock acceleration on all pro difficulty to start off. I don't have a slider set yet and, uh, playing a couple games. I think I will need one, you know, but we'll find out, you know, it's just preseason, you know, numbers can be a little inflated or deflated depending on who they're playing against. But, uh, let's start this league guys. And uh, if you guys hadn't seen it, go check out my first video where it's just first quarter of raw, uncut gameplay, uh, Minnesota Vikings, me versus the Denver Broncos. And I wanted to do it to see how a smart quarterback like Peyton Manning would do. And he did solid. Uh, you know, I made some costly. All right, I made a, I think I threw a pick in the game. But, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I threw a pick in the game, but it was off a tip pass with the defender drop and another defender dove for it. So, uh yeah, and I, another thing about Madden 25 that I like is they have this news feed, and it's actually relevant. You know, it's talking about Tyron Matthew of LSU, who's now in the Cardinals, his troubled college days, Kaepernick's explosion, and I'm just going to ignore that because I don't really have much to do with that player. I don't need a, him. I don't. I think it said left end or something, and uh, I'm just checking out the menus a bit here. You know, I'm, I'm as new to this game as you guys are, and... Uh, I'm really liking this game, you know, it's not perfect. Well, I I haven't had a perfect time with it, but that's not the game's fault, you know. Um, What's it called? It's just me, you know, getting getting uh, used to the game and all. And, uh, you know, you guys might hate me for saying this, but I wanna might want to move Toby Gerhardt for a more quicker halfback. Uh, um, you know, like, I don't know, I just don't really want Gerhardt. We'll see how Joe Webb works out at wide, wide receiver. Kyle Rudolph's my tight end of the future. But uh, I want to get a player that can act like a Darren Sproles or even, you know, get a couple carries a game and, you know, be effective, you know. Uh, obviously, Darren Sproles is untouchable, but someone like a Ronnie Hillman, uh, even like a, like, basically, I want, like, a poor man's Matt Forte, someone who can catch passes and, you know, get a couple carries. Obviously, Matt Forte can do it all, but uh, I want I want someone that can do that in, you know, 10%, 20% of the plays in the game. You know, I want to keep Adrian healthy. You'll see a little bit of AP in the preseason, but not too much. And um, sorry about that, guys, but I want to keep my man, main man healthy. Uh, I'm also going to work in some, you know, pl play from all my quarterbacks. I might even go ahead and sign Willis McGahee, but I got to clear like three million cap first. And I'm just fixing up my schemes right here. They look pretty good for the most part. Auto sub, and I guess they don't have formation sub. I thought they would add formation sub again, but I figured out through playing the game that you have to do it in the game, which eh, kind of disagree with or dislike, you could say, but it's whatever. It's it's a small thing, you know. And now I'm going to go to improve roster. Or no, I'm not. I'm going to go to league, and uh, I'm looking through the menus, you know. But uh, as for s scheduling of this series, uh, I want to get into an NCAA franchise. 
and uh, the NCAA franchise. I don't know how many seasons I'll do of it, and I haven't guaranteed it yet. But what I will guarantee is that I will at least simulate a college season or maybe play through a college season on my own time, you know, and uh, then import that draft class to Madden 25 and so on. You know, something I missed in 13 was the import feature. And I never really used import in 2012. Actually, I think I did once, but I didn't like Madden 2012. 11 was okay. Didn't really like 10. Loved 09. Liked 08. 07 was pretty good. Didn't, 06 is pretty good as well. Didn't really like 05. I mean, it was pretty good, but I mean, I didn't spend too much time on it. Didn't really play 04 too much. I mean, obviously, I played a lot of these games late. Or, not obviously, but I mean, I'm only 14, so I wasn't really around all these games. And uh, another small thing I like about this game is that when you're in the menus, it shows little fun facts about the old Maddens. And uh, that's pretty cool. John Carlson, I want to dump him off, you know. Once, I thought he was one of the best tight ends in the league when he was on Seattle, but... He's just not doing it anymore. I know I think about releasing him straight up, but I would lose cap. You know, maybe he can develop, you know, we could develop a twin tight end threat. He can give me like 40 receptions, three touchdowns, and Rudolph gives, Rudolph gives me like 60 and 8. I have high expectations for Rudolph, and I'm going to place Toby on the trade block. Matt Castle, I want him to be a suitable backup. Cordell Patterson, uh, he's going to be a beast for me, focal point. Jerome Simpson, I don't really know what to do with him. He, he's probably going to do a lot of deep threat plays if he's on this team. I think he should be. He's a solid player, but uh, I don't know if I have a spot for him on this team because I want to incorporate Jarius Wright in the slot. But uh, thank you for watching, guys. This video is winding down. Uh, this is part one. Part two will be out in the next two days or so. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Hopefully you enjoyed, and God bless.